Hello everyone, so I thought I'll come out of my comfort zone and go ahead and show a little quick video demonstration of my craft of Tsukiyomi. And I had a couple of requests to show off the cracking drive of this beast here. As you can see, it's a big boy here and I definitely wanted to make sure that I showed you the way that this cracking drive works. Now, this is clearly a big big <laughs> craft it's almost over 200,000 tons y'all so this is something that you're going to want to make sure you have a beefy engine for um, I didn't want to go the route of using any kind of rocketry or um, you know jets or anything like that in order to try to get this thing to fly around curbing and off planet and everywhere else I wanted to use some cracking drives so I decided to go ahead and create a newer type of drive um, which in the terms of how it works is not any real big difference between uh, the way landing gear leg cracking drives work but I did nickname mine this flammer drive it uses over I believe 32 32 landing gear legs and also um, also uses um, LY05 uh, legs as well as you can see here if I can go ahead and pull it up here my friend over there is uh, talking about his yellow jacket so let me go ahead and turn it off real quick <laughs> power of editing probably pull that away okay so <laughs> now uh, let's go ahead and drag this up here This is the cracking drive that I use here, y'all. So as you can see, and I do say y'all because I'm from Texas. All right, so this is my cracking drive. This cracking drive right here, as you can see, uses the G11 hinges and the LY05 steering gear. The way I create this, and it basically works the same with all of these type of cracking drives. Um, you want to make sure that the landing gear leg is set for same vessel interaction. And you do want to override the friction control and the spring damper. When you do so, you want to drag, there'll be somewhere right, right about here. You want to drag all these down as low as you possibly can, basically zero. Okay. So now once you have this done, you also want to make whatever base that you're going to have them pushing into is also going to be using the, oops, using the same vessel interaction make sure this is always checked off a of yes I don't remember if you need to go into the settings and turn on advanced tweakables you may have to do so don't quote me on that I'm not sure mine has always been turned on please use advanced tweakables nothing else is better <laughs> all right so I hook mine up to a Cal 9 uh, Cal 1000 here uh, in order to control my different rates of ascent of uh, course, full ascent is going to be taking the the Kraken drive to its max and taking this big boy of a of a spaceship all the way into the air. Um, now, of course, something this big is going to take a while to get off a curb, and I believe around 10 to 12 minutes. Uh, don't quote me on that. I didn't actually time it fully, but you're probably going to be about 10 to 12 minutes. Um, at about halfway point, this is about half throttle. This is going to be what I, what I call the hover descent mode. This is going to make the craft descent anywhere between one to two meters. I do recommend this whenever you're landing this craft in particular or any cracking craft because this is going to pretty much make your vessel almost come to a dead stop uh, without it slamming into the ground. You don't want that to happen. It's going to destroy itself. I know these legs look fragile, but they are pretty well durable, especially with the new flag set up that D uh, that. Um, the newest update where you can now turn these into actual panels as you can see this is all stock I use the white panel or you can also use the dark panel in order to make these thicker than their normal flags that they had back earlier uh, in the year uh, this will as you can see let me um, 
turn it like this. See how it turns thin now? Now, even at its thinnest point, it still will work as extra protection. It's almost like having armor plating, but I like to keep mine now on its thickest side so it can actually protect my parts even better. And I haven't actually conclusively noticed if it actually made a difference or not, but it feels like it does because it's much thicker than what it was, as you can see. Uh, see how that just pushed all the way in? No, we don't. We don't want that, guys. We don't want that. We want. We want. We want thickness around here, y'all. Thickness with two C's. Two C's, y'all. Two C's. All right. Anyway. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and take this bad boy outside. All right, now I am back after a forced Windows update. Thanks, Bill Gates. Now I'm back here with the vessel, as you can see. And a lot of people are asking me, man, these, this can't be able to land. It, it shouldn't be able to land. Well, it, it does. It works, okay? It works. So, as you can see, I can go full throttle here. This will cause my craft to lift. And it's going, it's going, and I'm going to radio out so I have to make sure I don't flip. And now I'm going to go ahead and lower it down to half. And as you can see, it's on a hover. I love it. So right now, actually, it's not declining. It usually it declines around this point. Oh, I'm not. I'm not actually a half point. That's why. But it's a little bit down. And now it slowly declines. No problem. No problem at all. Soft. Don't you love it? It will bounce a little bit like that if you keep it at half mass, but hey, let's kill off power. Now what you don't want to do is completely fall because that's going to make the Kraken very, very angry. As you can see, just make sure that you don't think I'm cheating here. Cheats are off, y'all. Gravity's normal. No cheats. I do recommend infinite energy. Electricity, I mean, um, this craft is consumes a lot. I have a ton and a ton and a ton of reaction wheels. So, yeah, <laughs> I will say you will be eating a lot of energy here. So, and I like to keep the lights on. They really look nice. They really do. I love this. And if anybody's asking about what type of lights I'm using here, I'm actually using the waterfall mod. Um, you can download this on CCAN or online on the forums. I believe it's this one right here. And you can choose different lighting effects and mess with it. I haven't really messed with it that much. Uh, I did mess with it with a couple of the screenshots I did earlier. I forgot what I did and I kind of went overkill a little bit. So I got to figure out how to <laughs> tone some of this back here, but it's pretty nice though. Um, also, I'm using TUFX um, and I'm also using. Uh, the default version of, I believe it was the Casa Pack. I also found that in the forums. I believe I posted it on Reddit as well. But I have my own custom settings as well that I have uh, done myself. So it is a little bit more to my tuning. Um, and uh, the environment is Eve Redux and Scatterer. That way you can get the beautiful clouds and the shine on the planet. Well, planet shine as well. Uh, and that's only when it shoots to space, but um, but yeah, it's very nice. I like the way it looks. So anyway, close this out. Um, yeah, this craft can achieve um, off-planet flight. Uh, maybe with the power of editing, I will be making a video, another video of it. You know, actually leaving the planet itself. But trust me, guys, it can go anywhere. I just don't have time to film it doing that right now. But it can go anywhere. I actually flew this. Flew this bad boy over to Duna to take two of my shots, and it was actually nice. It can it can make it, y'all. It can definitely make it. Um, just a little demonstration, though. I did want to show because uh, I did get a couple of comments about uh, this not being able to actually get higher. But you don't want to give up. You just wanted to keep it going, as you can see. 
it is floating slowly here you want to wait until and I can't slide this out the way anyway you want to wait until this gets to around 220 meters 220 meters 230 meters before it will, the crack and drive will actually kick into its max um, don't know the actual science behind that which is probably no science at all because it's mumbo jumbo breaking physics <laughs> but um yeah it actually usually kicks in around that time and that's for any type of uh, gear drives that use the landing gear legs for some reason i don't know why um, but yeah it is always happens like that now you do probably need to tilt it forward and back a little bit in order for it to get it to engage um, somehow you got to kind of tickle the dragon a little bit in order for it to want to go um, so but yeah that's kind of what you want to do here whenever you're um, trying to get the Kraken to actually start and don't you just like the look of this guys I really do I like the way this came out and the cool thing about this is you can change the color to whatever you want so I got a lot of different colors for this and I chose the blue because I just like the blue scheme a lot of people said it looked like the Cyclops from uh, Subnautica. Kind of agree. Uh, it kind of looks like that. That's not what I was really going for. I just had a couple of ideas in my head. And this just came to mind. Um, I had a couple of other crap that I kind of made like this. Um, not as extensive as this, but um, it really did come out the way I wanted it to. And as you can see, I'm almost there. Let's go ahead and get these landing legs up. just like how that blends right in I just like that it's a nice little touch I just made and here we go we are off and the crack and drive is extending so at this point you really don't want to do anything else you just want to leave the controls alone don't mess with anything at this point the crack and drive is going to just keep going into the air and you just want to go ahead and just take a chill you know Go grab yourself a drink, go get a you know, nice beer, nice brewski. If you're in the legal states, you know, go ahead and um, turn on that 420 and, uh, you know, chill out. Or, you know, if you don't do any of that, you can just, you know, go browse Reddit. Okay. Why not? So, yeah. So, once this is done and once this gets over to the 30,000 to 32,000 mark, this nav ball is going to flip, y'all. You need to be prepared for that. Once that nav ball flips, you're going to want to turn this from radial out to pro grade. Trust me when I say this, as soon as that happens, it's going to cause this thing to go back like this. You don't want that to happen. It's going to be hard to control. As you can see, it's already hard to bring it back once that crack and drive is already in full motion. That's why I said, don't mess with this. It's taking a lot. And I'm using a ton, again, a ton of reaction wheels, okay? So I'm just bring that back like that, okay? If you do feel like this is getting unruly, you can literally drop throttle to half and then move it around if you need to. But yeah, just keep it at, keep it at that point. If you are in full acceleration like this, whenever you drop it at half, it actually will stay midair, and you can just hover and spot wherever you want to. Um, it's really cool. I really like how that works. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to take it all the way up, and I've been talking for a while now, so I think I'm going to end the video right here. But yeah. Oh, yeah, and also, I forgot. I do have four motion drives on here as well. Um, so by pushing the action group one, it will start to move forward eventually. It might not because it is in full vertical lift mode right now. Just kind of looking at the ground, see if it's starting to move forward. It sort of is. It's kind of hard to determine if it is or not, especially on Kerbal. But um, when you get off planet to a low gravity planet, you do want to use action group one for your forward momentum. Uh, yeah, and it's starting to go forward just a little bit now, actually. But yeah, normally I keep this off on the Kerbal. As you can see now, it's dropping. Um, but it's still steady rising. So this is going to just keep increasing. 
eventually it's going to start these are going to start matching out and it's going to be going to 200 300 to 400 and it's going to keep climbing so don't worry about that it's going to stay around this lower speed eventually it's going to kick in and accelerate hard uh, so yeah again this takes about roughly i'd say 12 minutes in order to get to the 30,000 to 40,000 mark from there it just accelerates out like you were just using a normal rocket so uh, but yeah that's all you need to do and just keep an eye on it alrighty ladies and gentlemen I am out of here it's been Interstellar Kev take care